So I'm back at IBM, it's Saturday, and uh, I thought I'd do a tour of the site internally because I've got the keys now, so you can wander around. Um, so, yeah, I'm back in the courtyard at the moment. Oh, that cable out of the way. So not quite as sunny as the other day. In fact, let's start out the front. So, that's Hursley House over in the corner. Always round this way. See if that brightens up. So we've got a fair bit of work to do in this space. But we might clear these walls out. These are just partition walls. And this could be one large office. Okay, it's quite a way back. Back here, it looks out onto the courtyard. So yeah, this could be divided up, and obviously we can take out take out the ceiling. Um, this is yeah quite a nice big office space. We could get it sorted. It's got its own private entrance from the front, which is nice. So, yeah, door in there. Let's go up the tower. <coughs> so I'm just clearing this space out. But again, this would be quite a nice office space. This is in the clock tower. Again, it's got a nice view out over the courtyard. So again, this is all getting ripped out, redecorated, everything new, new carpet and so forth. I'll just whiz up here, just out of interest. This obviously will be off limits to everyone. And this is the actual clock tower. There's clocks up there. The noise is actually the clock running, so the clock has the correct time and it runs. So uh, yeah, it's quite an interesting little area. Roof's all been redone recently, uh, so it's all tight, quite sound. And we have a little nose around, I'm sure, in due course up here. Let's go back down. behind there. There was a cupboard which was shut. We opened it up and there's some proper retro old IBM computers in there. I spent the collector's items now. Again we'll get all that out. Outside. And that's the main entrance in. So we're blocked off at the moment. And we've got the health and safety and COVID stuff just so we can start developing the site. There's another office up there, again, same as the one I just showed you, up some stairs. Um, I'll whiz round this way first. So in here is kitchen space and uh, sort of ad hoc co-working, and this is going to be one of the entrances in. Uh, I haven't got the key to get in there at the moment, but I'll add that to a video in due course. Might be able to see. Mm, difficult. So there's going to be a big kitchen going into that space. Sort of just about see there's an old kitchen there currently. So we'll be fitting all that. And then this is just around the back. All this parking here is ours. We've got entrances in. And while around here, we've got a quirky basement area. And we'll turn this into something quite cool, I'm sure. Uh, there's a bumblebee nest down here. So there's a few bees buzzing around at the moment. It's always fast. So weirdly, Unknown to me, bumblebees nest on the floor. So there's actually bumblebees. One of our guys at Inkive um, runs 
the great British bee project, so he's going to come and rescue them, rehouse them. Um, but yeah, we're in the basement, so we've got some pretty quirky underground space. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with yet, but it'll be something pretty cool, I'm sure. It's a bit like a bunker. Obviously, we've got a fair bit of work to do relining some of this here. Again, this building's not been in use for I think about 15 years since IBM actually properly used it previously. So we'll go back up. And then we've got contractors in the back at the moment doing some work for IBM, but if I just whiz round the side. So all this parking comes with our site, which is there. <coughs> and all this is park all this parking here is available for us as well to use. So there's a big big site. I'll whiz back round. We go into the fab lab to be and then I'll whiz round the building step by step. It's pretty big. Um, but a lot of it's really just office space there. So Nothing exciting yet. Obviously we'll be dropping in all of the standard ink hive quirky stuff in due course. And we've got a new bike rack going in there as well. So this will be Fab Lab space. So we've got some kit left by IBM for us. So we've got a welding area. So there'll be welding kit going in. We have lathes, mini machines. This is like the dirty Fab Lab space, so the more industrial, so a bit bench or bench of kit we're just sorting out. Lots of power. And then this room. This will be clean fab lab space, so 3D printing, design, uh, CAD cam, all sorts of stuff. So the tellies on the walls will be clad, uh, white, lots of power and electronics, etc. <coughs> so, yeah, cool workshop space, be a nice little fab lab about this side. Back to the courtyard and then we've got storage units either side of the clock tower and we're just using them to start storing rubbish in at the moment before skips arrive that's the main entrance in and another one so i'm sure we can use this space for something quirky we may move the brewery here i don't know yet could fit nicely and then uh, there's the clock up there so that little door over there leads into the kitchen sort of cafe area we're putting in but that's locked off at the moment so can't get in currently all the doors will be swipe card entry once we're finished so got some luge through there obviously we're uh, redecorating fully that's office space another office and it just is a rabbit warren Stuff. There's a little kitchenette going in here. There's offices dotted around everywhere. There's a weird little staircase which goes up to nowhere. So there was a staircase once. Nice little office. Lose another office. So with this way, this will be meeting room, classroom, teaching space. So, big telly going on the wall at the end. Benches around the side, meeting room in the middle, uh, meeting room table, benches, uh, PCs, etc. So, oh, need a bit of filler on the wall there. Uh, gonna need a bit more poly filler for that one, probably. Uh, we'll go upstairs in a bit. So again, yeah, it's just loads and loads of office space okay another one 
putting in showers, all sorts. Again, it's offices, offices everywhere. All variety sizes to fit every budget. Obviously, there is lighting, I just haven't turned everything on. And there'd be Wi Fi throughout, Ethernet throughout. Lots to wire in. That's quite an impressive plant growing outside. So we'll get some gardening done soon. This way. And in there. So, even a little tiny office like this for one person could be available. More offices through there. Um, another office, in fact, sorry, another office down here. Big office. Other side of that wall, walls coming out, there'll be a little kitchen breakout space. Got lots of ways in to the building. That's my shoot upstairs. So we've got a pretty cool roof sort of space office, which is huge. So this runs the length of uh, one of the wings of the building. So, yeah, get all the lighting sorted. So these rooms, it's a pretty nice space. And again, looks out over the main courtyard. Dedicated office in there. Awesome. Oh. To be fair, I don't really know where I am because I haven't fully used to building it. More space, more space. Stairs. Let's go this way. Oh, the fun job of rewiring Ethernet for the entire building. It's currently some old school token ring, so we're going to put gigabit in across the entire site. And we've got a fiber lease line connection coming shortly with BT. All new heating throughout the building. Some spaces have aircon as well. This is quite a big office space. Let's turn the lights on. Uh, we'll be swapping all the lights out for LEDs, energy efficiency, and so forth. And this looks out onto the courtyard. And the grassy area right in front of us will be astroturfing and putting picnic benches on. It'll be a nice outside space. This retro, retro wood cupboard will be coming out. So this is quite a nice office space. Obviously there'll be handles put on the door. So every single one would be a swipe card. This would be desk space rental. It's a nice big area um, where we can do some socially distance if required at the time. Desk space. So like with all our other sites, um, same price everywhere. Um, so you can rent a desk at IBM Hursley um, and can't work here rather than an office if that so suits. Go this way. My sized office. I think this is a big one. That's quite a nice yeah, little space as well. And we've got a landing area, we've got some cool retro fake plants, which obviously will be going. Um, we have a phone box put there for calls, tellies, etc. Artwork throughout. This is a nice little space uh, on the corner of the building. Again, looking out over the courtyard. We're clearing out all this old school stuff. Doors won't be purple either. And nice little corner office. But this one has a nice. So you see over the rest of the site. to the courtyard and 
Shall I just go this way? <coughs> Got a feeling it's probably locked. So we've got disabled parking inside the courtyard. We might have some uh, specialised parking here. Maybe some vehicle charging points as well. I've not decided. Let's see if this is open. Oh, it is open. So we've also got, this will be separate kitchen space. This wall's coming out, which leads into the corridor next to it. And there's a loo. There's going to be a kitchen breakout space going in there. If I just whiz this way, I've blocked it off because I'm trying to stop people wandering into the site at the moment. <coughs> so, there's Hursley House, pretty awesome. And then the grounds stretch for miles. So there's tennis courts here, gym, there's a sort of our members club which Inkley Hybers will be able to join. There's a bar and so forth there. And they do food as well. We have an on-site cafe sort of area for use internally. Oh, it's duck under there. And um well, yeah, the outside is pretty impressive. It keeps hammering it down with rain at the moment, but it's nice and warm still. So that's a quick brief run round of the site.